Fix my own hair. Shit looks fire. With purple shampoo, may I add? Um, I guess it's photo shoot time. Fuck the bitches who said purple shampoo wouldn't work. Thank ya. Real results. Hey guys, do you like the glam though? Like, it's a very simple glam. So you don't want to see what I used? I used. It's a simple No, Allie, glam. they probably don't want to see what you that. used. I used uh, the sharp, the sharp, the, the tart shape tape. I used that with a wet sponge and I put that shit all over my face. And then I, my short ass lashes, I put on the new what's it called it's called the man eater by tart um the man eater mascara by tart and then i used the morphe palette which all of this had coffee all over it for my purse and i had to clean everything by hand with soap um i had to clean my purse with soap it's been absolutely insane Oh, I'm gonna, let me set you guys up. I don't know why I have an error. I have literally my ring light in front of me and I'm like, okay, so I used the Morphe palette, the original, and it's just the contour palette. I used that. So I contoured my cheeks. So look, I use this light color all like in the middle here, my T-zone, I used it, um, chin and inner cheeks and forehead. Um, this, I went with the second lightest, which is cool. It's the bronze. It says bronzer. It's the second lightest because I'm pale. And I just did them cheeks in real light. And then I took these two highlighters. And I highlighted, like, my whole face. Like, look at it. I'm, bitch, I'm, gl you know what? We about to add more because I'm extra. Ready? Look at, like, look at, I'm, like, glowing. Like, holy shit. I love it. Like, I just love the glow. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I can just, like, wet my finger. You know what? I'm going to wet my sponge. And I'm going to fucking... I'm going to fucking put it in there and see if, like, that puts it, like, nice and bright. I don't know. I just love highlighter. It just makes your face look so fucking bomb. Like, who doesn't want to shine like a... Like, who doesn't want to shine, bro? I even put highlighter, like, on my eyelids. Like, <laughs> I went a little far, but I don't care. This is what I did. A simple look. I filled in my brows. Um, I think my hair looks great after the tone. I think it looks great. I fixed it myself. I love it. I think it looks great right now, like, in the camera. Um, But, so, as of right now, I only have half. So, I took a screenshot of the message that the young man's mom sent me, and I didn't get the second half of the message. So, I only have the first half of the message and then her sign. So, I'm patiently waiting for her to send me the second part of the message, even if she does. Um, if she doesn't send the second part of the message, I'm still going to keep her name anonymous. I'm going to keep... I'm talking about the woman whose son was holding a sign up at Walmart for money, even though he's a heroin, a heroin addict. I made a video about it. Have a chit chat. By the way, if you are dealing with an addict, please comment down below so I can read this on my video or I can read it from my Instagram, like in DMs, if you go on my Instagram DMs and you want to be private, read me your story and like your struggle with a family member with an addict. Please do. I posted a video on my page just asking for parents to come to me privately or comment down below and let me know what it's like dealing with an addict. Okay? Okay. I could even read yeah, some of my mom's messages about dealing with an addict, like some of the text messages she sent me. But I'm really excited to like talk about this. I think it's interesting. I think it's bomb. I think it's cool. So you hear my boyfriend bitching in the background to his friends like, <laughs> oh, and guys, guess what? Be careful 
when a bitch don't smile in her, any of her Facebook Facebook photos. If all of her pictures are like this. And no teeth. She got some fucked ass teeth. I never had braces in my life. Look. If she don't smile in her any pictures on Facebook, be aware. Be aware. Because when you show up, she's going to have some fucked ass teeth. Be careful. <coughs> anyway, I can't wait for this series. I really think it's going to be interesting. So I'm just waiting on her response. And I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Hi guys, my name is Allie. If you don't know me, I'm a heroin addict searching for my recovery. I currently attend a methadone clinic in Troy, New York, um, which is in upstate New York. Um, that's where I've lived my whole life. If you guys want to hear more about me, um, scroll down on like my older videos. That's when I talk about more of my life. Um, right now, I'm just gonna just talk about like the feelings that like I have been feeling lately um I'm just touching up my makeup because I worked all day and I just wanted to look good for you guys wanted to look good I wanted to look like you know like a little bit put together um so you know I you guys know I have a hard time with video topics you know that um, you saw my hair video. I had another girl want to argue with me, like, for, like, hours today while I was at work. And once somebody starts arguing with me, I have a hard time stopping. And I'm going to grow from that. And I'm just going to let these bitches look dumb because I'm done explaining my side. I'm done. I feel... I'm on my way to fixing my hair. My hair looks great because I toned it. They told me not to use purple shampoo and look it. Look it. It's the exact way I wanted. Nice white. And they told me not to use purple shampoo. And that I ruined their work. But anyway, we're not going to get into that because fuck them. This is about me. This video is about me. So... I'm just going to start off, I'm going to be real, me and my boyfriend have been fighting crazy, we have been, we've been butting heads, we fight, exactly, we fight every day of our lives, I don't know what's going on, but we just have been really, we've just been really struggling to, like, see eye to eye, whatever, we're working on things, we're not breaking up or anything, so don't think that, like, don't think that, relationships are always going to be up and down, um, they're not always going to be good. Like, we went through a couple months where we didn't fight at all, and now we're fighting a lot. You know, it's whatever. Um, but, so, I woke up, like, I just feel like I've been having bad luck. Like, I've been bullied for the past three to four days, maybe even more, from these old-ass women coming at me about my hair. Like, people I don't even know. Like, I've been getting straight bullied. Straight bullied, like just for asking for a touch up on my hair nicely. Like I've been getting bullied nonstop, messages nonstop, Facebook nonstop. Like if I had to block, I've had to block at least ten women over forty years old because they went on my page and talked shit. And once people start talking shit to me. It is not like you're, you you think you can walk all over me. I will stomp all over you. I'm not going to let you come on my Facebook and talk shit and expect me not to say anything. I'm sorry. I'm not that woman. And I'm getting worked up, but whatever. I've just been going through so much. It's been crazy. Like, it's literally been crazy. Um, <coughs> I don't have COVID. I showed you guys my negative COVID test yesterday. It's just a cough. So, this morning, it was all right. You know, I woke up. It was whatever. Um, I went to work. Um, I was arguing with this bitch for a couple hours. And then I go back to my purse. And I realized my whole large iced coffee tipped and spilled into my purse. And everything in my purse 
had coffee, sugar. I had like this much like liquid inside of my purse. So now I'm trying to like clean it, fix it. And I wiped everything down that was in my purse. Thankfully, my makeup did not get ruined because it was like brand new makeup, like brand new makeup. I've just been having bad luck. Like I really have. I don't feel right. I don't. I don't see a place for me like in this life like like life is not supposed to be miserable like every fucking day like it's really not it's not supposed to be miserable every day and like that's what my life's been and yeah you know you can blame the drugs you can blame whatever you want okay it could be drugs could be my mental health it could be my it could be money problems it could be anything it could be all of those put together you know and i know none of that is worth taking your own life but sometimes when you feel like nothing is going your way and like you just have a string of bad luck that you know like it's like almost not worth it like it's almost not worth it to wake up every day and just argue and be in a bad mood and go back and forth with people all day like i'm not gonna let those bully bitches get the best of me though i'll tell you that I'm not crying because of those bully bitches. I'm crying because I'm suffering from mental issues that I've dealt with since I was a young girl. Okay? They're not as bad as I, they once were. I was hospitalized many times because of my mental health when I was younger. I have not had a hospitalization since I was 16 years old. And I'm 24. So that just shows that, like, you know, how well... You know, I've really, I've really overcome a lot of my mental issues. I'm just trying to, like, get the point across to you guys that, like, I've just been struggling lately to do, like, minimal things. Like, get to work and make money and handle my relationship without hostility and just, like, simple things, you know? Um... And I feel like, you know, my channel is, like, always about me. And I wanted to make it, like, more about, like, remember when I asked you guys, I asked for parents or, like, family members of addicts to message me their sides of, like, dealing with addiction because I don't want to just post the addict side. Like, I wanted some people to message me and give me their side of dealing with an addict from their side and i wanted to read it i didn't get any messages um i hope you guys watched this video and maybe like maybe even like just one person if one person can just give me insight on dealing with an addict you know what i mean if just one person could do that my insta my instagram handle is hate my last name underscore Allie and you can just leave it right in my inbox you can follow me whatever you can even leave it in the comments and I'll read it I just want to start doing different things I want to start doing so the guy with the sign his mom messaged me and I don't know if I told you exactly what she said but I'm gonna make a video all about it um she was such a sweet woman she was such a sweet woman and I want to read her side I actually might I actually might um you know I might actually read her side and just like fill you guys in fill you guys in about that um and then I'm gonna include it in this video I think so I just basically had a hard day. Um, I wanted to leave work a little bit early. My boss wasn't having it. Um, my bosses are very tradi tra traditional Chinese people who don't give a fuck about feelings. All they care about is work. All they care about is work. That's it. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are doing well.
Um, I hope you're happy and healthy. I hope you're sober. I hope methadone is working for you. I hope Suboxone is working for you. I hope you're stomping these grounds and being confident. And that's all I want. That's all I want for my subscribers. I want you to feel confident. I want you to feel sexy. You know, drug addicts are allowed to feel sexy. They're allowed to go to the methadone clinic and still be put together. Like, you don't have to be a trash bag to go to the methadone clinic. And, you know, people are so quick to judge the people at the methadone clinic. And don't blame me. There are some fucking crazy motherfuckers down there. But not everybody is a crazy down there. Like, not everybody is a crazy. But, yeah, so hopefully... So, I'm gonna go read... Um, so the guy with, the, you guys remember the video, the guy with the sign at Walmart and then his mom like came with another sign saying, don't help my son. I am going to take a screenshot of the message she sent me and we're going to talk about it. Like we're going to talk about what she said. I'm going to post it like on like half of the video. I'm going to include it in this video and then we're going to talk about it. I think that's going to be pretty interesting. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll be right back. Who does this bitch think she is? Hi guys, so I just got my Dunkin' coffee. It's gone already. Um... My Dunkin' order is a large iced cold brew with the cold foam. And then I get five pumps of hazelnut swirl and three pumps of toasted almond. And then I get oat milk and sugar, very light, very sweet, just like me. <laughs> um... I don't know if you guys cared about my Dunkin' order, but that's what I get. And it's like, it's super good. It's super, super good. Especially if you're in a coffee. It's really good. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what my plan is. I don't know what's going on. What are your Easter plans? What did you decide to do? Did you guys have dinner? Um... Like, what was up? What you guys do for Easter? I'm just sitting out in the car right now. And I'm speechless, so I'll be back. Good afternoon, guys. Happy Easter. How are you? Um, Today, we are just... I'm um, going to have dinner at his family's. Um, I hope you guys have at least some Easter plan, or if not, that's okay. You know, a lot of people are sitting home on Easter. I think that like Easter doesn't have the feel that it used to have before. And I get like, you know, when you're older, you don't get baskets and stuff, but I feel like every year, like, People used to have dinner and family used to have dinner. I'm almost done, Travis. Family, he he's the culprit who doesn't want me to talk. Um, hold on, baby. And I feel like families used to get, get together more. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And I see families not getting together more and more for holidays. So let me know if you feel the same. Photo shoot time. Next clip Good is the day after guys. Easter. We're going to start the vlog here. I'm not going to vlog just yet. I'm just going to start it. Uh, my name is Allie. I'm a heroin addict searching for my recovery. Um, if you want to see more of me on my channel, please like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions or just anything nice to say. Anything nice to say. Um, 
it's really nice out. We're outside with the cat because he's being curious. That's my baby, Travis. Not my baby, but my husband. Travis. AKA baby, yep. Travis. If I call him Travis, not right. His name is baby. His name's baby, but now you're gonna make me watch him. <laughs> Guys, I'm like super tired today, so I'm gonna take a nap. And then I'm gonna film a makeup and chit chat video for you later. Um, I think that's the best idea. He's just, you know, doing regular things. <laughs> it's just funny in the video, just seeing it. Guys, where we live is pretty awesome. Don't mind all of our neighbors' junk. Like, our neighbors' junk kind of ruins like the whole scene. That's okay. Whatever. I know I look tired. My nose is a little bit stuffy. So I'm like trying to just walk outside for a little bit. Um, my boyfriend says I need color, but I don't care. Um, I do want some color, but I just don't really care about being pale. That's just me. I'm pale. And that's that. Um, It's a little bit chilly because it's only like 53 but in upstate new york this is like gorgeous weather um perfect weather would be 65 i would say 65 65 my hair looks so orange in this light like i would have just fucking croak <sighs> what are you guys doing today what did you do for easter i think i already said that in my video from last night but yeah, that's about it. I'm going to do my makeup and talk, chit chat with you guys later. I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about, but it's going to be something. Uh, we just left the clinic and I took the day off from work because fuck that shit. <laughs> I really don't want to go to work. So my my baby's gonna work for us today yeah, for well usually for us, for i'm supposed to work but i just didn't i was so tired today like i couldn't keep my eyes open i'm starting to feel a little better but and then you feel a little you know like in the morning when you swing up for school and you're just like oh i'm so dead i can't get i can't do it but then you start to feel better. No, but really, I really could not keep my eyes open. Like, he's lying. He knows that I couldn't keep my eyes open. And that's why he let me stay home. But not he, you know, he's not like my dad. That makes it sound bad. He let me stay home. No, he didn't mind, like, if I stayed home, you know. So he's going to do the manly duties today for the house and for the family. So every day. He is. He is a he is a great family man. He takes care of me and our me and our son, aka. He takes care of me and our son, aka our cat. Our cat is our son. He takes care of me and our son very well. Um, couldn't ask for anything better. <sighs> okay, guys, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a nap. I look gross because I'm not wearing any makeup. I haven't been sleeping well, and um, and I think, well, I think I should work tomorrow um, just to let my people We day, Travis has a. Did I say that he has a chest airway infection? He's not feeling well. I am super tired. You guys can tell like my eyes are just so bad. Um, I really wanted to do the makeup tutorial like in natural light, but I don't want to take a nap with makeup on. I don't feel like doing my makeup and then washing it off and then taking a nap. So I'm just going to relax. I have all the windows open in the house. Um, and that's the plan for the rest of the day. Later, I'm gonna do my makeup for you guys. I really wanna do it in natural lighting. Let me see how I feel in a few minutes, maybe like half an hour, and I'll see how I feel and if I wanna do it 
while it's nice and light out or if I want to use my ring light later. So just give me a few to think and I will your favorite phrase, catch up I'll with you guys. <laughs> you always make fun of me for saying that. I look so trash without makeup on. My nose is like fucking about to fall off. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you soon. And yes, baby, we are glowing today. So I just filmed a bunch of TikTok videos, guys. Let me know what you think, cause like I'm super fucking nervous. Super nervous. My neighbor, who I don't know, just told me that she watched my YouTube channel, and I was like, oh, awkward, awkward. But that's whatever. Alright guys, I'm about to give you a vlog. I'm about to give you a vlog right now. Right now. Good morning, guys. We are up and ready to go, baby, right? It's fucking 3.30. Yo, okay, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, We're heading out. Go run some errands and shit. How's the face beat today, though? Is it foyer? Is it foyer? <laughs> I'm stupid. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel or like this video or comment. And don't forget to follow my TikTok. It's hate underscore alley, spelled just like my name. And yeah, let's have a good time. Follow Here's a sneak TikTok peek to, to some of my TikToks. Please go follow me on there. Hate underscore Allie. Thank you. In Troy, New York, um, which is in upstate New York. Um, that's where I've lived my whole life. If you guys want to hear more about me, um, scroll down on like my older videos. That's when I talk about more of my life. Um, right now, I'm just going to just talk about like the feelings that like I have been feeling lately um I'm just touching up my makeup because I worked all day and I just wanted to look good for you guys wanted to look good I wanted to look like you know like a little bit put together um so you know I <sighs> You guys know I have a hard time with video topics. You know that. After a long day of work, where is this ugly you're talking about? I just worked a nine hour shift and I still look bomb. Better than any girl you could get, I promise. Hi guys, editing early popping in. Um, <clears throat> so I, I found something really cool while editing. If you are an addict or you were an addict, share your story with me. Not in the comments of this video, 
share your story with me in my Instagram DMs or my, uh, I can't really do anything besides Instagram DM. So, actually, or my email. I'll leave my email down below. I will leave my Instagram below. I'll leave my TikTok below. But message me your addiction story in I would prefer my Instagram um, Instagram inbox. If you want your name to be private, please say that. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to make all names private. If you want your name mentioned, let me know. But I'm going to make all names private. So if you do want your name mentioned, I can mention it for you. Um, leave your stories in my inbox. I would love to read them and I would love to make videos um, just talking all about your story, all about my thoughts, all about my opinions. And then I want to hear people's opinions down below in the comments. I think that would be a fucking awesome, awesome idea. Leave your stories about your addiction in my Instagram inbox. I will leave my Instagram in the description box and I will pin it in the comment. This is going to be great, guys. Great. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you feel the video is worth it. Love you guys.